What's up, guys? Happy Sunday. How's everybody doing? Back to the grind for a week. Starting tomorrow. Just feel like weekends need to be longer, you know? Really? Seven of eight? Feels bad. Six, two. Gots the brome. Yep, pretty good start. Nice. He has an answer. This is nice. Sometimes they don't have the answer, though. Just gonna let him kill that. Just plop this down there. Kill. I'm not sure he had to play that. sucks as far as uh, Brom is concerned. Pulvy. His whole plan was to bait out the Pulvy. Seems good. Is he going to... Uh, nice. Oh, wow. What a, what a roll he got there. Like, what if it had been behind? Crazy. That's crazy. I love how Brome gets stuck with that animation in the air. He had to sunbloom the card draw. He didn't even mess with the... Didn't even mess with the pyro. Oh, man. I think he probably have to, uh... Because sunbloom on this would have killed it. Perfect provoke. See a mop. So that's why he didn't kill it. Some of the last turn. Deuce Bigelow. Uh-oh. Hold on, gotta get my bot going. Evidently it's not loaded. There we go.
16 life with the Giago holding down the fort. This card's really hard for Lionar to deal with without a reposition. Wow, he passed turn. Whew. Bye, Ghoulie. That's is pretty pretty much the game over, right? That was pretty convincing. Ouch! Three. Loss. Loss, loss. Oh, three and one. Ouch. What's up, Dirk? How's it going? Two and a two, probably. He plays a Jaxi, this is good. I guess this is good too. Fail. He's gonna get a free kill on this. If I put this here. Which I do not want to let him do. I could put the puppy there and put this here. He can't kill this with these. He needs another damage, which he might have. I don't have the answer for a turn one veil. Sucks. I did if I had kept the snowstorm. Okay, he's just gonna move this back. Two into two. Hopefully he does not have Primus Fist. Frostfire shit, okay. We're gonna be removing that. I guess it has to be two and pass. Sucks. He put two cards into it, but he killed two of my cards. He's going to get a third one. What's up, Hemp? After air drying the bacon, I smoked it. Awesome, you got a picture? I will check it out in a minute. He's at five cards to my four, which kind of sucks. Move. 
boost, sure. It's probably gonna chromatic cold this, right? So I could play this. Five, one, or this. I wanna play this next turn, so I need to put some stuff that challenges his board here. I think I have to clear this. Uh, if he unstuns this, we're dead, right? So maybe this. I guess I should have got rid of this. Gotta dodge a two drop here. Please hit the birdie button. Good, good, good. So I can eight him here. This comes online next turn though. Three and two, or or run over here six. God, they both hit me though. They both hit me. I think I have to do four and two. I can't take 11. I can't take 13 here, right? Actually, I mean, this is the best board I can possibly throw up though, right? I think, I think I better do it. Like, I could knock off a charge, but... Yeah, let's just do this. Probably gonna get a bunch of them into Warbird. Yeah, that sucks. That was actually a really, really lucky um, roll. I'll take it. Even though this one dies for free, I'll take this one. Avalanche would be hilarious. Maybe he Marty Mooses this. God, this is so good. I'm definitely hitting him here. Three, four. Yeah, this happens. Hold on. Three. We're gonna body block here, we're gonna run here. Think I'm gonna, so I think I'm gonna go three, four, three, maybe. One, three, right? Uh, the three does the same thing as this. This definitely happens. This definitely happens. I think I put a minion here.
Gotta dodge AoE in here. Like a Death Blighter there or something would be pretty bad. That's, that's equally bad because it kills the two Snow Chasers for free. Can't really let this hit me. That's the problem. But I might have to. Uh oh, how bad is this? Crap! Flyer, son of a bitch. Oh, thank God. That is awesome. I think this is going to be two, three, four, I guess. One here. I've got the life advantage on him, even though he hits me really hard here. I think it's okay. Uh, five and four clears clears anything he does over here. Actually, he can't hit me this turn. He has to value trade the Snow Chaser. Three cards left. I'm at a life lead. It's okay. He'll value trade the Snow Chaser, and that's fine. He'll probably play some big stuff over here. No sound for Fisher. No, don't have one. He'll value trade that. It's fine. Oh, he's not. He's just going to play big stuff in the corner. Sure. Fire. All right, big dudes here and here, and hopefully it's not Pandora. That's fine. Yep, sure. So I probably have to go five and four. Uh, I need to play this though. This has to happen every turn. This has to happen. Five, two, one. I really don't like him having two flyers. Five life left to get through. This card's great. If he plays another giant guy in my face, we'll be we'll be in a little trouble. It's good that he has to go on defense. That's what we want. 
This is a really, really nice pickup. Outside of Pandora or Heels, there's not a lot that helps him. Death Blighter. Uh, his own heels. Okay, so he had heels. He's down to his last card. Excellent. Here it is. Let's see how 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 good it is. Rhino. It's fine. He does have this. go 4 4 1 right I'm not too worried about this Uh he hits one hits the other he trades for both I guess that's fine, though. That's a nice draw. He's top decking, and he's only got two turns left to live. He has to trade the Rhino for these two, this for that. Play his minion. I'm gonna eat it. Unless this is Death Blighter. That's fine. If he doesn't trade with these, he's dead. He'll probably trade with one. Yep. Actually, he's dead. He's dead from uh, Red Walker. Super greedy not to trade with this, though. He should have killed that. Didn't matter, though, because I, ha I had lethal either way. Let me see the uh, the hemp mine breakfast photo here. Bacon porn. Man, that looks like some good stuff. That is pretty good. Got <laughs> the duelist keychain again. <laughs> That's so funny. Nice. Looks good, man. Oh, hackers playing. Insta matchup. This is gonna be a good match. He's probably got a strong deck. And we have no two drop. Feels bad. This mat this card is really great, but not if I whiff on two. If my hand is full, I can't afford to play this. Yep. Trubs. We in trubs. Oh, saved by the fortune shaper. Woo! Man, that was close. You guys had the miss two drop sound all queued up, didn't you? 
glorious gl ah. ah I have to leave this alive for a turn. Put this here. I could have played this back here and threatened to value trade off that, but it's fine. Naga is kind of bad, but he has to take six if he Nagas there, so it's okay. Yep, he's got Naga. Alright. Take six, bro. Punish, okay. As long as he wants to just keep this out of the fight, I am A-OK -okay with it, right? Oh, fail. Okay, that I have to take care of. That I have to kill, right? Maybe not this turn, though. Maybe I can go four into one. Let's get rid of this. Oh, uh, he has five. That's going to be pretty bad. Uh, Vale shoots this, probably no matter where it goes. So it's gonna go there. That way at least he has to punch it. If he has another uh, remo uh, reposition for this, it's gonna be a little bad. DT isn't terrible. How did he play that here? Oh, he didn't, he played it there, it's fine. Maybe Vale shoots that. Yep. And ping this. If he fuses this, he can't come back next turn. Okay. All right, let's see how we want to do this here. Probably punch the veil. Chromatic cold that. Two, three, four, five, one. It's not bad. We're just Shit, I should have played this here. I don't want to let give him this. I do want to kill this in case he has a ritual banish. And we don't want to hit with that. Although Death Blighter is is bad here for me. In before most of his draft is Dying Wish. Yeah, because he had the Dying Wish. Uh... <laughs> he hasn't played a Dying Wish yet. I suppose he could Vorpal Reaver here. Number two! I might just Fisher that. We'll see. He's in Provoke Jail, ladies and gentlemen. Provoke Jail. But I think I might just Fisher that. Thanks for the free kill, bro. Hmm. 
How do I do this? Three, four, five, six, seven. And feeble? No. So I could punch this. Play the four. Thing is, this is actually kind of dangerous, huh? Maybe I punch, 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 and feeble hit. If I'm feeble, this goes to 1-1, one, one, right? I guess I have to let this hit me so that I can uh, Dagona hit. Yeah, I'm just gonna enfeeble this thing. I mean, uh, Fisher it. So yeah, he can smack me for four and it's fine. If he has Glacial fi uh, Necrotic Sphere here, it sucks because then I get hit for six. Draw a minion from my opponent's deck. Okay. I don't have any good six drops in the deck. All my good cards are seven. Oh, that's pretty cute. That's cute. Uh, he does have this next turn. So, it, but this is off next turn. I think I just eat. I'll, I'll eat that, right? This is off next turn. I kind of need to hit him, though. He's still provoked, and he doesn't have the freeze this turn. He needs, he needs to spend a card on this to get a free kill here, and then he's got Dagona to worry about. Rev. Okay. Sure. Do I have nine? I don't. I probably have to uh, hit that. So he value trades there. And that's his turn. Two, four. So we go there. We go here, just clear that, right? Uh, Heart Sister kills him. But if I don't find Hearth Sister, I think I'd rather go four, five, six, seven. Do I play this? Clear? Probably do. Right? Two 
cards left. Oh! The Heart Sister. Alright, I got it. He dead. He dead. He dead. Hey, our hacker, thanks for the host, man. Whoop. I don't think there was any way he won that game, regardless of what uh, that heart sister draw, but that was always, that was nice. Nice and stylish. How was your stream, heart, uh, hacker? And uh, did you play in the tournament this Saturday? I still haven't got to watch a VOD of that. Curious to know how it went. But thank you much for the host. <coughs> to go into lethal is extra style points. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, cookie sound effect. The time has come for this cookie! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Silver, since you grew up in Texas, any memorable bacon experience? I'm looking for inspiration. So, bacon, surprisingly, was not my thing. I mean, I love bacon. Do not get me wrong, but in Texas, you know, bacon is, you know, good bacon is pretty much everywhere you go. So as far as super memorable bacon goes, I don't really have a lot of great stories. I was all about smoked brisket. Barbecue brisket, though, is my, that's my go-to as far as Texas home-style cuisine. Texas barbecue. It's the, um, definitely the brisket. The preparation, the, 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 the colored ring, right? Like, it's all all really good so there's definitely some memorable barbecue but as far as bacon goes not so much Defe definitely a signature dish yeah for sure for sure match we're on the right hmm isn't this the guy we played i think we played this guy uh he played a veil hunter turn one and frost fired it so i'm glad i have this probably don't need this two into two into four that's even better veil hunter me bro i dare you i dare you to put that veil hunter here again So I don't mind going two into two because if he value trades, he value trades one of these, like this one. He has Snowpiercer though, right? Snowpiercer is a little ugly. I think I want to go two into two. No, I don't. I don't because I want to be able to uh, Rift Walker the extra point off of this.
Definitely do it that way. Don't need this. Uh, I might need this. He gets a free trade here. Pump it. Uh, punch this into this. If he doesn't take the mana tile. If he does, then he doesn't get that trade. I guess the other thing you could do is uh, Rift Walker here. Which would be pretty gross for me. He's got Rift Walker, then he. Oh, okay. Sure. So, what do I do about that? Do I counter provoke it? Or just throw two cards into it? Not really. Move this over here. If I do that, this is next turn, so let's get rid of this. Yes, yeah, kind of sucks. I guess I have to come out and call this. probably gonna hit me with this, right? I probably need to punch this. He might trade, trade. Let's do this. I don't, I just don't want to punch it. I want to block him from killing that. I don't mind if he trades there. Like, he's actually more likely to make this trade because it survives. My face? Okay, never mind. Sure. Sure. AoE. Trade that, trade this. Ah, oh, Endless Hunt, okay. That's his whole turn. Punish this. Take the three. Take. The, let's see here. Four and one. I actually would rather have this back here. All right. So I do four and one. actually pretty pretty gnarly huh maybe put this here not you don't use this or just play five Maybe I shouldn't have cleared it. Baited him into the attack. If he takes 10 here and goes to 15, that equalizes the life, so even if he, like... That's fine. Four and two in his face. Four here. Hit this, two in his face. Ugh. 
kind of want this, but... I don't have a lot of power over here. And I have to dodge a Death Blighter. If he removes these without taking any damage, we'll be in trouble. Okay, good. Sure. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I'm gonna ever be able to snow pierce through his face. Not with that, right? stronger though. I would rather use it next turn, but I think I need to put this here. It's in in the row, right? If he, if he, like, Death Blighters this board, we're in trouble. Now I could Snowpiercer him. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I guess I should have put this here. Yeah, I should have put this here. I mean, he probably has to leave this over here to kill that. This uh, ego does not really do much for me. So we just go five. I have to save this. Ugh, I don't have a place to put this. I mean, I could put it into Warbird. I really don't want to. So I think I'd probably do this. It sucks because if he chromatic colds it. Like, I wanted to put that here. I want something near my general, but probably not gonna be able to do it. Maybe he just goes trade, trade, spell, play stuff. He has to trade this. But yeah, I'm not gonna get Snowpiercer to his face, so I'm actually. It, it's good I replaced that. He's got five cards though, man. Plus two on board. So my only hope is to burn him out. I think he has another heal he has a healing mystic. So uh, let's assume I have to go through 14 points. So he plays a dude and a spell, right? Yeah, let's keep this back here, please. Thank you. Oh, Death Blighter would be terrible, huh? Yeah, that kind of sucks. At least I can smack him for four here. That's fine. I am stuck in provoke jail now, so I'm gonna have to kill him.
So I hit there, probably. Or move this in. I need to play this somewhere where it's not going to get killed. I guess I play it there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know that I have the damage to kill him, honestly. This actually doesn't do anything. This doesn't accomplish anything. Four, five, six, seven. Oh shit, I meant to put that- Oh, that's so bad. No, I just- I just pitched that to this. God damn it. I'm not gonna be able to get there now. Shit. I needed to put this here. Yeah, I totally botched that turn. I had to heart sister this thing away from the Giago. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. This is decent. This is my this is my last chance, my last ditch effort. Frost fires this, do I die? That's four, five, six, eight. Yeah. If he frost fires this, I die. Or if he puts a big enough thing here. If he threatens lethal next turn, we're screwed. I needed I needed to provoke him. I needed I needed to provoke here. Or here. He gets two of them. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He's got 11 damage next turn. That's lethal. Yeah, so I lose. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If I play this here, do I still get hit by everything? He just moves this here. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not necessarily. What can kill him that's in my deck? What if I put the Dark Nemesis here? Three, six, eight. He just goes there and there. No, I have to replace it. Now we lose. I screwed up the Shield Master play. Um, all I needed to do was to put that right above me, somewhere that it could get some work done. Uh, okay, it's Mr. Vorp uh, Spectre Rev. I don't like this. But I'll, I'll hang on to it. Does he know you have Fisher? Yes, he does. I used it on his 5-3 uh, last game. I did. I did play it, Dirk. And I know he has Spectral Rev. And steal a card from me, from my deck.
This will be the one shadow, sure. I think I take the mana tile. Uh, lure does not kill it. Seemed to, it seemed to feel like he stayed provoked by this minion several turns last game. So he'll just run this to the back, probably. Or he'll punch punish. whole turn. Yep. You got yourself a 3 3, son. There's no way he brings it in. There's no way. Really? Okay. Oh, he wanted he wanted a two drop. Okay, sure. Oh my god, really? He dumped his whole hand? Sure. So, punch trade. here. Where do I want this? I'd love to bait him into a... I'll play it here. cards left. I think the puppy dragon's gonna put some work in, but he kind of needs to run these back here now. Maybe I should have threatened his minions over here. DT, that's a whole turn, okay. Sure. Two cards left. One of these is probably Rev. Whoops. I should have punched the puppy there. So Rev is coming down next turn. Let's see what happens this turn. He's got the 10-3, or the 5-3. Sure. That's fine. Should have punched the puppy, huh? So let's see here. Two. Maybe I fisher this. I think I'm gonna keep this and actually take five here.
right? He has Rev next turn. So his Rev is gonna kill that. I think I need to Chromatic Hold it. Because if I hit this, then I don't develop a minion. So I'm gonna take five and then from the Rev is gonna happen. Uh, I have this, so let's do that. So he'll rev this. Spectral rev on the provoke again. That'll be his whole turn. And I should be able to hit him for four. No rev, okay. We're alright with that. So he didn't have rev in his hand, because he definitely would have played it there, right? Oh, rev is, rev is eight mana. Okay, it's coming next turn for sure then. So I'll try to position as best I can around it. Lure. And provoke. So Rev is coming next turn. Gotta be careful here. Three mana. He probably pings this, right? And plays a two drop? Yeah. Four and five is nine. 10, 12, it's not enough. I think I have to play this. He'll rev it though. Shit. I should have played this in the back. I think I need to get rid of this. So if I play this, he'll rev that. Now if he wants to rev my minions, he has to uh, he has to do it back here where I can get away from it. I didn't want to have this next to me because then he revs my minion and hits me. Wow, no rev, okay. So let's hope he doesn't get the active minion again. The only minion I have that can do anything. Oh, seven, he can get Dark Nemesis and uh, I have one other really good seven drop, but the card I, the only card I don't want him to get is the one that freezes. Oh, he doesn't matter because he doesn't have the blood bound spell up. If you play it next to provoke, he can't rev it. No, but he can, he can rev the provoke and keep it over here. I think this was the best defense against spectral rev, because he has to play the revenant, either has to hit me in the face with it for six, but then I can hit him pretty hard. Provoke? Even he has Provoke, I have lethal. He has to heal here, like, he has to have uh, Void Pulse and some more things like Double Void Pulse or Void Pulse Ping. Blood Tide.
I could have also boosted that a point and had another point here. But I, I felt like keeping this was important. Like, I didn't use it on the 5-1, and I could have. Just because I felt like I might have needed to live an extra turn. Like, one of those was for the Rev, and the other one was for something ridiculous that he played that would threaten lethal. I, I forgot that the new Rev is 8. He beat, he beat Nara. Let's check this out. Nara is not having a good day with Brom. I can tell you that. Really? He kept, he kept the Komodo Charger. I guess, okay. All right, it's decent. I would have kept the worm. Double two drop. Go here, punch, kill it. What? Why? Oh, because he had flash freeze. Okay, yeah. yeah that's pretty strong. The bear. Wow, he did not expect to have his whole board cleared. So, is this Two, two, one. No. Probably replaces one of these. Yeah. It might be three and one defensively. Nope. He's killing it. Oh, is he going to bear it? Wow, that was a really good play. He has, to, he has to punch the bear. He's not going to punch the bear, unless he's got AoE. Yeah, he's got AoE. Look at that animation bug. Look at that. Probably Sphinx. Proto sensor. Take five. Sentinel. This airdrop. God, that's awesome. He can get a strong guy in the back now. That was so good. Like he has to double trade, unless he has an answer. Martyrdom. Oh my God, draining wave? Going down to three against Faye? That's so tough! He 
He's got lethal next turn. Uh, does Brome have lethal next turn? If he just trades here, two, four, five, he doesn't. Unless he has Tiger. Tiger Alpha does. Replace that. He's got to come up with five damage or he's dead. From hand, dead. No, he's dead from hand. And the Rock Lobster token. Rome's playing musical statues. <laughs> he had a lot of provoke. Man, he just came out of a... He just came out of a rough magmar. Wait. No, he didn't. That was the rough game. It was the Brome game. Six win Vitruvian into three win. One win. One win Brome. Wow, that's rough. I bet this is a good game. Let's check this one out. Maybe he's been out drinking. Because he picked Brome, or because he's not winning? This should be a good match. Oh, how often does how often do you see Lionar miss a two drop? Never happens. The troll blue tip. So he either plays this or just martyrdoms that. Plays that. How about Ma free kill? Oh, my God, he had it. <laughs> I would have been so salty. <laughs> Ma free kill. Oh god. That's so tough. Oh my god, and he gets the roar on this. No roar? What? Why didn't he roar? Oh, because he wants to uh, drain you. Okay. Oh, well, I guess it's War Exorcist. Now he kind of wants the 50-50 to hit there. He wants this. Of course, it's not going to happen, right? Or maybe he won't even... Oh, it hit, it hit. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh. Boy's got answers, man. Boy has got answers.
fired him. Does he have his roar up? He does, so he gets he gets to clear he gets to clear the board. Or or leave that. Hot dust whaler. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. <laughs> <Cactus Tarion. laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Nasso's deck is stacked. Well, that's not getting played anytime soon. He's got lethal on board. Yeah, it's game. Jesus. I often play Gauntlet after coming home from the bar. I love playing Duelist while drunk. Do you find that you play better? Do you find that you play better while drunk? Not better, what do you think? <laughs> Check out my game versus Cloak and Dagger. Okay, uh, after this game, we'll check it out. Cold. Oh my god, a two drop. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Actually, remember that game I played against you two days ago? It was eight in the morning, and I had had a party. Are you talking to me, Dirk? I think I'm gonna take the free kill here. Um, I give him Snowpiercer, but if he plays Snowpiercer, I put a six health provoke in his face. Naga would be pretty good for, for him. Sure. So, three, four, five, six. I can't get the four drop out if I do that, though. That's not much better. I guess I throw this in. I have to play, I have to play this minion.
think this is better than the Provoke. And I want it 4-6 rather than 3-6. I was playing with Vath, real power deck. I don't remember the game, Dirk. Uh, this is a spell of some kind? Celebrate. Into... Hailstone Prison? Cryo, sure. It's fine. It's about four and one. Does this change anything? Four and one. So I go there, play this here, put that there. Yeah, I might be able to bait him into the middle. Let's try this. Change my mind. I have this up next turn. Screw it. I don't care about that. I just gotta burn him. Chip a little more damage onto his face, maybe. That sucks if he removes this. Oh wow, if he has to punch it, that's really good for me. Nice, nice. Unfortunately, I didn't get him over here, which would have been lethal. But I can, I can clear whatever he plays. this yet. I think I put this here. The thing is, he's going here, right? Alternatively, I go three, four, and... How about four and... Damn it! Wait, I got it, I got it. Three, go here, four. Yeah. my last shot at having a board. Now I just need to burn him out with this. He's got another answer? That's okay. He's had to take the damage each time, so that is fine. I just have to hope he doesn't... I mean, like, Snowpiercer is pretty good. I'm gonna freeze this. Hopefully he doesn't get those 0-1 wall. The zero one one wall is actually the worst, the Provoke wall. Any other wall is fine. That wall is okay. So this will be... Hydrogarm here? Wait, do I have lethal? Three, six, eight, eight. I move here, he can avalanche me 
then he's dead. He had to take the six. <laughs> he had so many spells for those, but all of them involved him punching them in the face. Cryo, punch it in the face. Cryo, punch it in the face. <laughs> Flash freeze, punch it in the face. Stupid six health minions when I got four damage in hand. Alright, uh, let's check it out. Let's check out the game. Ooh, Epic Crate. Nice. What's going on, Jukebox? Woo! Look at that! I'm getting some goodies here, man. Okay, two dupes. But we got the Magmar skin. It's great. Okay, so cold. Your game against who? Cloak. I think you don't play this because you have a three, right? Oh, you do play it. Why? You have a three. I would have kept it, personally. If you have a four drop, you play it, but I don't know. Oh, wow. That was so lucky. Why did he do that? Now you get to trade, trade, put a three in his face. Like he just offered that up for free. He let, he let you trade your 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 ma. This is some crazy craziness. Cause now you go there and you go. Uh, maybe play this first. Okay, this stronger. Yeah, man, he, he just... Maybe his hand was really bad, though. Oh, God, Halo. That's gonna hurt. If he can get next to this. Okay. You better run this way two squares. Wow, really? <laughs> he let you... He let you get back and get your cotton script. Alternatively, you just bulwark. Yeah. Uh, provoke force field. That's brutal. How do you stop that without martyrdom? Oh, excuse me. Well, it looks like there's going to be a martyrdom here. You realize that had you just healed him to full and then smacked him for three, he'd be at 22 here instead of 23, right? So you lost a point. Oh God, a period's claim. Knock off one charge of it. Three. 
three, two, one. This guy's a five, five. Jesus, man. This is the best Halo Bulwark I have value I've seen ever. <laughs> One charge to get through. Refill number three. Refill number three. How awesome would it be if he had a third one? That would just be so hilarious. Ah, he got the last charge off. Wait a minute. Yeah, he had to play it that way. He's putting up a really good fight. Double appearance claim. Sunstrike, holy crap. Double Sunstrike? Double Sunstrike, double appearance claim? What the hell, man? Cliffy. God, your deck is busted too. It's like all removal. It's removal, removal nar. Removal nar. Peacekeeper, that bad boy. Are you playing around? Are you gonna move this down? You could have gone into perfect provoke. I guess you're in perfect provoke. No, because he can punch this, dispel that, 12 you. Uh, actually, if he has if he has dispel, he wins the game here, right? I guess it would have been the same thing if you perfect provoke down here, though. Dead. Three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Wow. That was pretty good, man. Double appearance claim, double sun strike. Jesus. Four and one. If you were one point off there, that one missed point from the martyrdom turn would have haunted you so badly. I shat bricks when I saw him play both sun strikes. <laughs> Did you realize you missed a point on the martyrdom turn when you played it?
massage, huh? I didn't actually, but yes, that would have haunted me if I lost because of it. This card is really good in this matchup. Wow, this into this is good, except that he can... Entropic, so it's not that great, so I probably have to get rid of this. I want to keep this though. Have to dodge the blast minion here. We dodge the blast minion. It's a little greedy keeping both of these four drops. I guess I should have got rid of this one. I could have also put this here, baited him into the center tile. I don't know, soup, that's super ballsy though. drop in my face. That provoke? Okay, that's fine. First wish. I think I just played this. Alternatively, I played that. Actually, this is better, right? I go there, I play this here. Can he Dancing Blades it? He cannot. This is better. Uh, let's get rid of this then. Do I put it? Can, so he used a shroud already. So if he, unless he has another one, he has to like blood of air this, or put a big minion here, which unfortunately works. Yep, like a provoke here works. is super awkward. Look at this. Look how heavy it is. So hopefully this is not a provoke. Anything but a provoke. Probably four and one next turn, ditch this, I guess. Of 
or a Weaver's fine. And a one drop. No one drop. A one drop. So let's see here. We definitely go here. I could actually punch, hit this, and clear all of his charges of this. I think I want to do that, actually. Then I don't hit that. This. I think he has a ping in hand. So I'm probably gonna lose this minion, but I get rid of his, his charge. Yeah, I think I wanna do it. If he has, um, Dust Whaler, I get wrecked. I could I could have put it on the mana tile. I thought about it, but I wanted to kill the one one. But now I get completely and utterly wrecked by Dust Whaler. Dust Whaler. Okay, good. Zephyr buff kill. Yeah, I figured I was losing this minion. It sucks that he gets a free kill here. He's, he's pr practically out of cards, though, so that's good. Question is, do I play this? Probably not. He has this next turn. So. Can't really give that to him. Three and two. So either I punch him here or I just play this into this. I guess I do that. Blood of Air is pretty bad. Because he has this. So he goes Blood of Air here. Then he gets another free kill. So I don't really want to let the puppy dragon... I don't... Blood of Air... Like, do I lose the game to Blood of Air? He clears the whole board. I think I need to play this back here. Because if I play it here, he frenzies... The whole board again so I would rather have a minion than give this one more attack just because blood of air is such a ridiculous wrecking although the stars fury do the same thing because I didn't put it here two four six No. I mean, he can kill the puppy with it, but... Then he's not hitting my face. In fact, he has to take the three. Strike. I think we're gonna let that live. Wow, he's got a two drop. One drop, okay. So I think I hearth sister this thing. Alternatively, I play the dark nemesis here. 
Fosco face. Yeah, let's play the Dark Nemesis in the back. He's got, he gets the Frenzy. So like, do I just kill the Komodo? This three damage on his face, though, I'm not gonna lie. So this has to go kill that. He can't frenzy at the moment. Two cards left. I'm setting up for a sister play on that. Because he has to go kill that now with this. Or Blood of Arid or something. He's playing around Macanter. Canter here would have been pretty good. So he can kill this for one mana, but he takes three. And then he needs an answer to this. I mean, I guess Blood of Air does it. Hey Thurindos, thanks for the host, man. Wow, yeah, he caught the Blood of Air. Yep. I was playing around that pretty well. That Blood of Air doesn't do anything. Except, use up this whole turn. Hey, he's gonna let me have this? Cool. I don't really care about this, do I? Kill that. Three and five. I think I need to go three and five. Put this here and go there and punch him. No, I think I play it behind me. Shit. I don't. I think I need to play this, so I have to do this. Yeah, I should have replaced this. It was a mistake. Yeah, I couldn't miss the Warbird that turn, even though the 5 damage minion was better. It's fine. Three, four, five. Wait a minute. My heart sister this I get two four so we probably just play this and pass four eight nine I 
Uh, he can kill me if I'm not careful here. I think I have to play this. And then that means he has to have a silence. So this happens for sure. I'm gonna go four and two. Let's do both. How do I kill him? I'm not sure. I'm afraid we need to use math. Yeah, I don't have a minion for this now, which kind of sucks. I hope I don't lose the game. I think I blew the... I think I blew that too early. Maybe. Five and one. Probably punch this right. Play around lost in the desert. He pretty much passed his turn, so he has two answer cards, I guess. Or two burn cards, and he couldn't use them last turn. He's gonna play that minion that st seals your BBS? That would suck. But he has, he has to answer this and this with three cards, right? Provoke Arino? No. Nope. Oh, if he gets the blast. Okay, he didn't get it. He had the lost! He had the lost! I thought he did. Sir, what? Are we being too literal? No, you fool. We're following orders. We were told to comb the desert, so we're combing it. Found anything yet? We ain't found shit. That was good stuff. Thought maybe he had that lost. Eleven two. Final boss. Music. 
Probably gets natural selected. What the heck happened to my list? Okay. S rank one, nice. Jesus Christ. Do I go there? No, I can't. I guess I could go three. put this back here, right? Alternatively, I put it here and Frostfire it. I don't think so, though. I'm using this to kill the egg. I have, my hand is way too heavy, though. But getting the 8 damage on him was pretty good. And I still have something on the board. Although it can't challenge this at the moment. gonna hit then. Yeah, I can't, I can't. I have to kill this egg. Ah, uh, this should have been here. This should have been here. 100%. Did not mean to put it in range of this. That, that was a 
big, big mistake. Big mistake. I kind of wanted his general to hit. Yeah, this is bad. Because now he's probably going to claws this down. I mean, it's awful nice of him not to hit my face at all, but... Jesus. This is a... Uh, this is going to be tough. He's going to have a really big board, and I think I'll have nothing on this turn. Would have been really good if this were here. What would he have done? Maybe natural it. Attack, attack. Leave this here again. That's nice for me. What do I do? I probably throw this in the corner. Run. Two, four. Alternatively, I play this. And then I take a lot of damage. So, cannot afford to play that, right? Actually, this into this is pretty good. You can't really hit me with this stuff. If I play this, I can probably go to next turn. Unless everything is just all over here. I think I do it this way. Oh shit, I should've hit him. God damn it, why am I playing so bad? Why? Why did I not punch him? God damn it. I ran out of time. Damn it. I could've had him at 10. Alternatively, I play six and one here. No, that's too much damage. Let's see. I put this here, though. I think putting this here is better. Uh, I'm not going to play this anymore. How, how important is this damage? Uh, it's not worth losing the minion. Yeah, let's do it here. Somewhere where you can't AoE it, I guess.
I wanted this to survive. If I'd put it here and done the one damage to him, he just walks over and kills it. So I'd rather have my minions on board able to do something. And maybe if I punched him, he wouldn't have punched me back. Earth Spear. Oh, am I dead? I'm not dead. Might have lethal next turn now, huh? I have to play this. He, he probably has lethal though, right? Two, four. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed up pretty bad. He probably has Plasma Storm and he's threatening to hit me next turn. So let's see, what if I put this here? Plasma Storm kills me. So I have to just tempo to go now. Give him natural select. I'm probably dead though. I think he has a ping card in hand or a tiger. Yeah, he's got a tiger. Yeah, yeah I was one off lethal. I should have punched him that turn. He wouldn't have. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered actually. It wouldn't have mattered because he healed back up to ten. So I guess it wasn't a mistake. I mean, it was a mistake, but it wouldn't have mattered. In fact, I would have had one less, one less life. He would have killed me, actually, if I had punched him. Yeah. I knew he had a uh, burn when he played the turn like that. I don't, I don't think there was anything I could have done better there, except stay out of his face. But given that he had Battle Life Force, I was probably losing that game. It's really too bad I had to use that Heart Sister defensively. Getting locked down for so many turns on that Provoke was, was terrible. The 12 wasn't meant to be. I've been having a hard time going 12 with Fey. Ooh, look at that because I run into such good decks. That's pretty good. Not because the decks I'm drafting are good, it's just that I'm running into incredible quality, card quality. Do the Starhorn Challenge? I don't like to do the Starhorn Challenge on this, uh, on this account. Um, do one of these though. Probably not Shidai, probably one of these two. Kara versus Vath. You guys got a preference? Kara or Vath? Kara. I mean, both of these guys have a very high dependence on dra getting good cards in the draft. If you don't, you're just screwed. Vath is my weaker general. Moon King says Kara. Okay, try Kara. Have to take the removal, it's too important. Even though that was incredible. That would be an auto pick bath. I don't I don't I don't get good cards in draft as uh, as Magmar. I think we have to take the light bender here, right? Yeah. Tiger. 
kind of cold. Well, I'm having to pass up some really good cards. Circulus? Circulus is pretty good. Hailstone versus Ravager number two. Hailstone. Wow, this would be an incredible Fey deck. Jaxi versus Songweaver. Let's take Jaxi. Shield Masters, great. Probably Conjurer. Dreadflare versus Debone. I think Dreadflare is okay. Get the early game going. Cold versus Ravager. Cold. Veil versus Flash Freeze. Veil. I'm drafting this like I draft Fey, and that's not good. <laughs> uh, Firestarter is actually pretty good in Kara, right? Because you get a 2 2 rush. So I think this is actually quite good. Question is do I need the mid game? I don't think I need this. Grimes is so good now. Can I pass up this White Widow though for it? White Widow is really, really strong. I think I'm gonna take the White Widow. I mean, it's RNG either way. I just like this has an immediate impact on the board. But Grimes is pretty good. Oh, easy Pandora. Whoa, 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 whoa. Skarzig with the buff. That's still pretty crappy. I mean, Pan if it wasn't against Pandora, if this were a crappy legendary, I would absolutely take this. But Pandora wins games. Oh, I got the Hailstone back. I only have three two drops. I hope I get more uh, early game Vanar. Lodestar versus Pony. Gotta be Pony. Damn, Lodestar's awesome. Marty Moose! Marty Moose versus Chromatic Cold 3. I think I already have enough four drops. One, two, three, eh, three and a half. I think I'm gonna take the Future Shaker and hope for a Latigris. Or a Sinja. Or a Pado. These are pretty bad. I think we just take the Pado. Uh, Snowpiercer, Avalanche, or Second Ravager. I have two answers for big dudes. These aren't. These are way better in Kara than they. Uh, sorry, in Fey than they are in Kara. I think I need the removal. Yeah. Fizzles, great. I need early game now. Spirit of the Wild. Card 24. I only have three two drops. This is actually bad. I'm, I'm getting a little wrecked on the early game. I probably have to take this future shaker. You honestly think Lodestar is awesome? That's interesting. It's not terrible. No, it's not terrible at all. I It's better in Fey. I think I was speaking of it in terms of Fey when you just need to get things away from your face. I don't think I can take this five. Jax versus Nemovore. I don't, I don't, I don't, milling is not that important in this deck. I think I'll take Jax. I need early game bad. So this is between Flash Freeze and Avalanche probs. Yeah, it's gonna have to be Flash Freeze, right? 
I mean, there's a world where I take Avalanche here. I need to think about it. <sighs> uh, Flash Freeze combos well with Fizzle and White Widow. So I don't think I can take this. World Core! Holy crap, man! Oh, I wish I had Heart Sister. I think I actually have to take one of these. Because uh, I only have three two drops, 27 cards. I can't take it. Ghost Links it is. I've never been able to pick that card. Grail's a win con. Golden JC. Yeah, this is actually pretty, pretty tough. I need two drops really bad. Uh, I'm not gonna get any. I'm not gonna get a two drop. It sucks. Oh god, I got four. That's so bad. I only have three, three drop. Four, three drops is okay. Uh, this is nice because it guarantee pulls the Snowpiercer. But I tried this combination in another deck and it just never worked out. I was never able to play the Artifact Hunter. Trapuka, Trapuka makes them position awkwardly, but it's easy to play around. Maybe I do take the Artifact Hunter. I just, it's so bad. Four for a three, three draw a card. I think I already have enough card draw. If you stick it in the corner, it will never pull more than three things to it. Oh, the Lodestar, yeah. Problem with Hisuku is that I never have board. I never have board early. And I can't play this. It's gonna buff his min. It's gonna be better for him than me. Because my early game is so bad. Oh, man. Alright. Early game! Yes! Flame Blood or Zix? I would have loved to take this light bender, but I'm forced to pick a two drop here. I guess Zix puts a little more on the board, and it synergizes better with my Bloodbound spell if I get it later, so I'll take that. Man, I got wrecked on the early game. I should have taken the, uh, I had a Rock Pulverizer I could have taken that I passed up. This, this matchup isn't terrible if I draw removal. Nope. And that's good. But if he plays a, if he plays a turn one Widowmaker, we're a little, a little boned. Where? What? Oh, I have very few two drops. I guess I have to keep this so I have a play. Yep. Yeah, this is gonna happen a lot. We just have to dodge a Widowmaker, I guess. Where, where's all my spells? Don't I have like? Seven spells in this deck? The hell are they, man? Bale Hunter is not bad, but Widowmaker is bad. Void Hunter, sure. Probably Bloodbound Mentor. And it would have been nice to have this. I get double kinetic surge next turn, potentially, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. Like, I'm too far behind to be able to waste two, two mana on that garbage. Repulsor Beast? Yeah. Didn't get the mana 
for that. That's fine. Does he have a two drop? He does have a two drop. I think we white widow here because I have a 33% chance. I have a 66% chance of clearing his board. And if I miss, it sucks. It sucks bad if I miss. I mean, this guarantees it. This guarantees it. God help me if I miss that. If I miss that, I probably lose the game. Oh, I replaced. Yeah, so I guess I don't get that. Thanks, Dirk. I guess I have to fizzle this then. A good tiger one. So I think I like that better. Now, nah, what am I talking about? He's got three Repulsor Beasts in the deck. Gotta dodge Dancing Blades, but he can't Dancing Blades and get a range. I'm hoping I'm able to get the Mana Tile, but might not happen. Dancing Blades, wow. Yep. Isn't it awesome how they always have that? Isn't that awesome how they always have that? So this is not great. I kind of want seven, right? So I guess I go four, replace that. I'm not gonna get the seven. Four, replace that. One. Ugh. I think I just need to play this. I'm not I'm not gonna have the I don't have the luxury. Did that change things? this to go back there. It's fine. It's the best thing I could get on the board here. I hope he runs back to kill this, but maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just comes in and tries to race me. Missing that turn one play was really bad. That's awesome. This tanked four damage for me. Now he just blocks me in here probably with something huge. Gotta dodge a twin strike. Shock read this and twin strike would be really, really bad. this, but I think I have to play this here. Does that change anything? No.
All right, I came out with a minion alive, at least. And I have this next turn, potentially. All right, we're, we're racing. We're racing. So let's see here. Tiger this. Tiger this. Move here. Snow piercer that. No, that puts me at 10. He's got spiral. This is actually pretty tough. Tiger this. Yeah, if he has Spiral, I think we're just gonna lose. I'm just gonna give it to him. That that turn was really really ugly. I don't think I don't think I could have won that game. Man, the dancing blades was pretty bad. I guess. Yeah, given that he hit me for six with it the set the next turn. I don't think it was a bluff, Dirk. And even if it was, I was so far, I was so far down in damage that it doesn't matter. Banner versus yeah, exactly. I was too far behind. Missing the turn one play was just too bad. I'm on the left again. This is so bad. So bad. Uh, where are my two drops? I have five of them, right? Like, I should hit. I should hit one. I need to keep this for an obelisk. I need to keep this as my next turn play. This is the weakest card in my hand right now, but this wins the game against... So, taking this out. God damn it, again? I've only seen one two drop come through the bar. It's the Veil Hunter. I don't even have a three drop, technically. I think I'm getting rid of this. Free Orb Weaver. Okay. So I might be like, punch, play that. That's actually pretty nice. I was sure I wish I would have had that first turn. Because then I could have gone down, 
punch Mystic the uh, the other one and cleared his board, which would have been which would have made a lot of difference here. I guess I can still do this next turn, but he's going to play like a potentially up to a six drop here. I guess the other thing I could do was have played this instead. I don't know. Sure. And a three drop. Second wish, cool. Uh, I'm glad I didn't play this then. Four and one. I think I'm gonna end up taking another hit by this. Oh, I guess I can Lightbender. Fizzle there. Pop there. No, I need a light bender this garbage. Question is do I pop here? Five mana next turn. I don't think I pop. No. He kills this for free for one mana. And he has he has access to six. Took a lot of damage, but he spent a lot of cards. It's actually fine for him though, because he gets to keep the board again. get six mana worth of dudes. Five plus this. Or he could trade trade play six mana worth of stuff. Uh-oh. He drew an artifact. Let's assume it's Blast. Or it could be Staff and he just wanted to get rid of it. This is an artifact. Yep. So if I get the pop in there, I can't really do that. I think I have to mystic him. Pop this, mystic him. Four and one. I could also tiger in one. I don't think so though. You aware that you know this guy's deck? Yeah, I don't remember it though. I don't remember the deck too well. He has a Lost in the Desert in there. All I know is I crushed it with Fae. And I got off to a really slow start. God, I could end up going 0-3. This deck isn't that bad. But uh, I did play on the left twice, which is the worst for me. AoE. Star's Fury. Fury. He has Star's Fury and Lost. Just Lost. It only hits this. Oh, it hits that. Okay. 
three, four, five, six, seven in my face. Wow, he didn't hit. Four, five. Four. Th yeah, four, five. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? I wonder if he has two losts. Five and one? No, it's got to be four and one. Sucks. I have to go there, punch this, shoot. I mean, if he has another loss, GG. If he has another loss, GG. He has another card to go there. That sucks. I think I, I think he has lethal. Three, four, five. If there's three attack on this, okay, I'll go. As long as it doesn't have rush, we're okay. Oh shit, he has lethal now. I can believe that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have to go five and two. This is useless. Oh my god, that's great. What does this have? Now he has to go deal with that. The sand tile is actually really bad. I mean, in a world where he doesn't have an answer to this card, it's good, but holy shit. <laughs> it's like the only way I win this game. If he doesn't have an answer, though, he runs back. Always say thanks for a decent pado effect. That's so risky. Okay, he must be killing this. He must be killing this with blood of air. Or killing me. What's he doing? What did he just threw the game? He just threw the game. Why did why did he do that? I mean, 
I'll take it, but like that, that he could have definitely stopped that, right? Like, play the 3-1 and put the... Just buff it up? I don't know what happened there, guys. I mean, I'll take it, though. <laughs> I did not deserve that game, though. I feel a bit dirty. Versus I feel a bit dirty about the game. Have to keep this, have to keep this. This gets plasma stormed, this gets plasma stormed. This gets plasma stormed, this gets plasma stormed. This is a world where I go to and ooh, I guess we just throw this on the tile. He can um, natural select that if he wants, but that'll be his whole turn. There are not many two drops he can play and get a natural select off on this. All he had to do is move at least one space. Yeah. So I back this up so he can't natural it and I play this here, and then attack, attack is fine. Uh, I need, I need to body block it so he can't natural. Oh, wow, I can double hit this and kill it, right? Then I've got nothing for his eggs, which sucks. But what else am I going to do to kill this? I mean, I could put the, the hailstone in. Uh, I don't like the double kill. Run it two up. Go here, play Hailstone there. I mean, I guess I could. Alright. I will do that. Because it, it gives me access to one mana tile this way that I wouldn't have otherwise if I had run this back here. Yeah, I like that better than the play I was going to make, which was going to run be run this back, Hailstone here. But now it gets, gets punished by any AoE. Yeah, of course. Oh, that sucked. I got punished bad by that play. Holy shit. Shit. Jesus, man. I guess I go four and one. Let's see. Put the four here. Uh, this gets a lot weaker without this. Uh, five and zero, though. I could have not cast this, so I could have got the buff next turn, but it's fine. Man, I got punished bad for that play. Yeah, I guess my play would have ended up being better if he, knowing he had the Naga, running the 3-1 back. Whoops! 
Whoops. Jesus, that's bad for me. So I think we have to go six and zero to kill this, right? I could five and zero. But I think six and zero is better. Take another three. I take the three here, right? Yeah. And I lose the Bound of Life Force next turn. He has Plasma Storm. Plasma Storm's the nuts here. I target this. Okay. I have to silence this, throw four into it, one into that. How does he still have cards to play? So maybe I move this up, jam that there. Four and then three. So I move this up, jam that there, play the three. Yeah, that seems all right. Shoot egg before the dispel. Uh, I was gonna kill this and the egg. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this into that. One, two, three. Shoot the egg. So let's see if I shoot the egg. One, two, three. Yeah, actually you're right, this is better. Plasma Storm still the nuts. Blaze Hound is not terrible for me. Fellow. He's out of mana. So this is gonna be five and one or five and one. Probably this because I need to have some things that survive Plasma Storm, right? Actually, this makes it a 4-6. I think this is actually better. Although this can heal me. Because I can get some heals. I keep this. Do I really need this? 
It's not bad. I have to dodge Tiger Fortitude. I really need some... I'm gonna need the, the healing Arcanist, I think. Like, I think that's the... Might be the only way I win this, unless he can't answer this board. But, I mean, I do die to Arcanist. Uh, to Tiger Alpha Fortitude. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Lethal on board, though. Ah, uh, no, he can trade that. Rx. He could have traded that. Okay. Sure. This doesn't heal for two turns. We're all right. What did he what did he stun? He stunned the 5-7. Okay. Running out of time, bro. Cascading rebirth into a six drop. He got McCanter. He didn't get McCanter. Wow, he had fortitude. Did he get the egg off? Thank god he didn't. Three, four, five. I think it's seven, eight, nine, right? I think I pony this. Uh, pony. Yeah, Pony does does it. Finish him. I have lethal. This is stunned, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't have lethal here, guys. Hoping to get the heal. All right. I did not have lethal there. No way, why bot? Are you sure? I looked for it. We can go back and look at it, but I don't think I have lethal there. Did you remember that the, uh, that the, uh, blue conjurer was stunned? You guys remember the blue conjurer was stunned? Even with the stunned blue conjurer, I had lethal? Firestarter, BBS, Aspect. Okay, I'll check it out. Because, yeah, I, I can BBS. I can aspect one thing and get three damage onto him if I aspect my own dude, right? I need a five damage from the stun conjurer. Okay, we'll check it out. That dampening wave was gross. How do you how do you come back from this position, man? Like how did I how did I win this game?
So I think he made a mistake here. I think he meant to play a minion first so that he could move everything away from it. But then he moved this away and had to go back to play the minion there. Is that right? Is that true? Did he want to be here with his general? I don't think he wanted to be there. Let's see. He plays the Lava Slasher. He comes here and puts this here. Yeah, I think he wanted to be one square down. Doesn't make that much difference. Because I was going to kill it either way. But actually, actually it does make a difference. Because if he were one square down, then this Jack's True Sight would have been hit. So... This got to live because he played this in the wrong order. But then again, if he were here, this would have lived. Which it did anyways, because he left it alone, but... I don't think, uh, I don't think playing Aspect of the Ravager can turn anything into a 4-4, no matter what order you do it in. You transform it into a 3-3, I don't think it gets a buff. Yeah, it's transformed, exactly. That kills any buff that it had. I'm hoping at some point I get the Jax into Kinetic Surge turn. Like, that's the glory. That's the glory turn for this deck. Is seven mana Jax Kinetic, but man. What must he have had to... I mean, I guess summoning everything is nice. He could have also killed... He could have used this to kill that next turn. So wait, wait. You're saying I have lethal here on this turn? No, not this turn. It's the turn when I've had the Conjurer. I wanted to try to draw four wins Magi. That's what I was looking for here. That one damage almost lost you the game. So couldn't he have just traded this into that? Five, six, seven, eight. Now this was stunned. So then I would have only had two, three, four, five. So he should have traded there. Oh, he, he wanted to, uh, yeah, maybe cascade this. Like trade, trade, cascade that. All right, let's see here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where's the last five come from? Firestarter, Buff, Ravager, that's only three. Ravager the Mini Jaxi? What Mini Jaxi? Can't Ravager a Mini Jaxi. If I Ravager a Mini Jaxi, I can't hit him. I have to Ravager the, uh, the Firestarter token. How do you guys get lethal here? This is stun, so I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need five damage from hand. I've only got three. Oh, Ravager summons another one. Right, okay, so let's see here. 
So fire starter. Kinetic Surge summons a 2-2. If I if I Ravager a mini Jaxie, I can't hit him. So then I then I Ravager one of the tokens. And I get another one. So that's 3-3 three, three and 1-1. One, one. Four, five, no, it's three and two. It's three, three, and a second one, which becomes two, two. Right. So that's five exactly. I just Ravager the token. I play this, and then I get a two, two, and then I Ravager it, and I get another two, two. Wow, that's a really good one. I guess we will uh, screenshot this. I didn't replace, did I? Ravager the Putrid? Yeah, same thing. Is it the same thing? Yeah, then it's 2 2 1, right? No. 3. Actually, Ravagering this is better, isn't it? No, yeah, because this goes to 3, and then I get 2 and. Two. Wait a minute. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. It's exact lethal no matter how you do it. It's not the same because I think Ravager on a rush minion removes rush and it's not active. Are you sure? No, I don't think that's true. Once you Ravager, only one thing counts. Did it? You did it? It really removes Rush? So, like, it has Rush, and then you Ravager it, and it loses the ability to attack? That sucks. In which case, the only way to do it is to Ravager the Putrid Fla Dread Flare, huh? I don't remember that. So I know that if you if you transform a celerity thing, it loses the ability to it loses the celerity and it can't it can't it can't attack after it moved a second time but hasn't attacked a second time. But I've never seen like so you're saying if you go tiger ravager, it can't attack? Yes it can. Yes it can. It just transforms the stats. It doesn't transform anything else. I'm pretty sure it works. I'm pretty sure you can tiger, tiger transform. Maybe I'm not. Maybe we need to test this. All right, remind me tomorrow guys and we'll test this, but I, I need to get some sleep. We'll science it and we'll, and we'll see. I'll, I'll make a note. We'll try this tomorrow. I've had it work and not work, so I don't risk it. I'm pretty sure. Because, well, I don't know. I honestly don't know if you play it that turn. It's just weird. I don't know. I, I feel like... No, because... Like, I used to go Tiger Iron Cliff, Mon uh, Iron Cliff Heart, so I'm sure that Tiger Iron Cliff Heart lets you attack with a 10-3. I'm sure of it. Tiger Horror Burster used to work. Should be the same. Yeah, right? Yeah, Tiger Iron Cliff Heart works. I'm positive, because I've done that one. So, I think it works. I don't think it loses the rush. 
but we'll have to science this tomorrow. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Fun, fun times hanging out. Too bad we didn't get the 12 with Faye, but that's alright. And let's see if there's anybody, uh, streaming. Looks like Holy Mackerel is streaming. So, uh, I'll pass you fine folks over to Ghostly Tuna. And you guys have a good night. I'll catch you tomorrow. We'll do this science. So I'll see you later.